And with Korea and Japan tangled in a prolonged historical dispute, there are increasing calls for the two neighbors to meet and talk it out. Hwang Song Yi sat down with former Japanese Prime Minister Yasuo Fukuda at the Teju Forum, and he echoed those calls for dialogue. So let's begin with your assessment of Korea-Japan relations under the Bakane administration and the Abe administration. Since the two leaders are from the same generation, I believe that they will get along fine when they meet. That's why I think it's important for them to meet. When they meet, I think they will be able to establish a good relationship. So what do you think needs to be done from both sides, Korea and Japan, for a breakthrough? One of the most important things is for the two leaders to meet. And more importantly, they should not hesitate to meet each other. But we cannot expect one meeting to resolve all issues. This is where the public's understanding becomes important. You served as Prime Minister Abe's envoy to China, and considering that China and Japan have held a couple of rounds of summits while Korea and Japan have yet to meet at the highest level, there are concerns that Korea might be the only one left out of the picture at the end of the day. What's your view? Regarding that question, didn't the leaders of Japan and China meet last November? And didn't they meet just for the sake of meeting? When it comes to Korea-Japan relations, I am hoping that the two leaders will also meet. I think there is nothing more important than the two of them meeting each other. What do you think about Prime Minister Abe's use of the word uh, human trafficking when he speaks of the comfort women? Speaking with the understanding that I am not completely aware of the two countries' thinking, Prime Minister Abe never thought about the comfort woman issue as unimportant. That's the way I understand it. What are your expectations for the so-called Abe statement that's set to be released in August? It is unnecessary for an individual to imagine what kinds of expressions will be included. I hope it will contain messages that the neighboring countries can relate to and that they can at least understand under what circumstances this statement is being released. Thank you, Prime Minister, for your time today.